Hello and welcome back to another uh, Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, the UE5 BP Guru. Uh, we've covered crouch and retargeting animations and setting up health and the camera and things like that. You can see that in this section here. There you go, we've got crouch, we can walk, we can stand up while we're, while we're crouch walking and vice versa. We can still jump and we have our camera and our health system set up now and it doesn't look completely deformed uh, in the skeleton. In this episode we're going to be focusing on the sprint and stamina. So we need to set up a couple of things first. The first thing we want to set up is, uh, a, is sprinting boolean. Compile that. We also want to open up the project settings and set up a new input for this one. Here we go. Click the plus sign, call it sprint. I like to have my sprint set up as um, left shift. So if we go to keyboard, we should be able to find um, somewhere where it says left shift. There it is left shift uh, and I'll, as I always do I'm going to set up the gamepad as well I like the gamepad to be um, the right thumbstick clicker so we want to do um, right thumbstick button I believe right thumbstick button there we go and that should be um, the control setup now for sprint uh, the next thing I want to do is um, I'll do the the third person um, stuff first. So type in sprint, it should bring up your action event you just created. There it is. Um, I also want to create two custom events. Now custom event, it works just like um, event begin play and the uh, control things. But what this does is you can call this um, in, for example, when we press sprint, we'll call one of these, um, these custom events and it will run the code that's in the custom event. It just kind of keeps everything kind of neatly and tightly packaged away. So we're gonna call this one uh, regain stamina. And we're gonna call the other one remove, oh, custom event, remove stamina. Let me zoom in a little bit, there we go. So we can see that, oh, see that a little bit better. We need to create two more variables, uh, the same as our max health and current health. Uh, for this one, we're going to call it uh, max stamina, and we'll call the next one uh, current stamina, and we'll create those as floats as well, just like so. Compile, and we will create the defaults as, I'm going to put it for 200 for now. Uh, you can fiddle it around and change it to whatever you want it to be, uh, but I think 200 should be uh, enough for us. So, the first thing we're going to do is drag out our new booleans, and we want to set both of these. Uh, we are not going to use a flip flop for sprint um, because um, it's much easier when you're working on the regain and the removing of the stamina if you keep it to um, pressed and released. So set one to true, set the release to false. Uh, we then want to um, call our new function, which for this one is remove stamina, and it'll call, call function like that, and it'll look like that. And for this one, we want to call uh, regain stamina. Just like crouching as well, we need to set our speed to, otherwise we won't see a difference in the movement. So drag off your character movement, put it in, I always put it, like to set it in the middle so it's a bit neat. And then we wanna set max walk speed, like so. Copy that and paste it down the bottom. Saves you typing in again, drag in the target to your character and movement, connect everything up so it's looking like this uh, and we know we set our max walk speed to 600 for sprinting in the last episode but when we finish we want to set it to 300. 
We don't need to worry about anything with the crouch because when we click C, it'll automatically run this and set it to 150. And when we click off of it, it'll automatically set it to walking speed and vice versa. So if we were crouching, we click sprint, it would automatically set it to 600. But we don't want to do that because it won't actually change the animation back to um, the walking animation. What it'll do is you'll just move really, really fast while you're crouching. So what we also need to do is uh, before we can do anything here, we need to check uh, if sprinting is active, like so. And if it is not active, so if it is false, then we want to flip flop, okay? <coughs> so it will only do this if sprinting is deactivated. And again, we only want to run this if um, uh, if crouching is tr is not true, like so. And then pull that into there. Okay, so we do not want to be able to sprint while we're crouching, and we don't want to crouch while we're sprinting. Um, so that's how you want to set that up. Um, We'll, we'll test that in a minute. Uh, so that should work now. Uh, it should set the sprinting to that. It won't do anything with the stamina yet, uh, but it will um, allow us to, to run. So let's just quickly test that and make sure it's working okay. So I'm walking. If I hold my left shift down, I sprint. If I let go, it stops. If I'm crouching, it won't sprint. Yeah, it won't sprint. And if I'm running, it won't crouch. Can't press crouch. So that works perfectly well. So that's our base functionality for sprinting set up already. Come out of that, go back into here. Now all we wanna do is add our sprint functionality in. So first of all, we need a couple of branches like so. Add those in like that, oh, like that, and then add sprinting to both of them. Is sprinting to both of them. So to regain the uh, the stamina, we don't want it to be active, and to lose it, we want it to be true. So the next thing we want to do is add a delay in. What this will do is stop it from instantly going straight to zero because obviously the code runs very very fast. Um, 0 0.02 should be fine for testing purposes. Then we want to set our current stamina set, and we want to do that for both of them. This code will be very similar. Uh, there's just going to be a couple of slight differences. We also want to get our current stamina twice as well, like so. Now, for um, regain, we obviously want to add our stamina, so just search for a plus and it will have add and we just want to add that by one in there and that will happen so that'll add one every 0 0.2 seconds again we'll figure out we'll we'll mess around with the figures to to get something that suits us but for now um just for testing purposes this should be absolutely fine then we want to get a subtract uh and add that into current stamina and then again we just want to do it by one we want to subtract by one and connect that up to there. So basically what will happen now is when we're, it won't repeat this yet because we haven't set that up, but what it will do is uh, if we hit sprint, it will remove one stamina. And if we let go, it will regain one stamina for now. But we have 200 obviously to, at our disposal. Next thing we want to do is now do a couple more branches like so, plug those in. Um, now for the regain, uh, actually let's do the first bit, let's do the condition first. So we want to, um, check to see if our current stamina matches our max stamina. And then we want to do a, uh, is over greater to or equal to our max stamina. And if it goes over, it won't keep adding it. Basically, it'll stop. 
if it and it'll break this cycle but if it's false we want it to continue so we want to regain stamina again and that's where the the repeating side of things work so it'll run this code check our stamina is uh, adding to our st uh, max stamina if it's not it'll run this again minus off another one oh, no add another one sorry and then so on and so forth until that happens so that's done this one is done that should work perfectly fine let's uh, now pull this one up a little bit so again similar kind of thing we want to check if our current stamina is um, uh, less or equal to zero so if it goes below zero, if it goes to like minus one, for example, it'll stop working. It should hit zero with the current state, but obviously when you're, if you're changing the figures, it might be a little bit different. Uh, if it's false, if it's not equal to zero, we want to remove uh, stamina again. But if it is true, we need to do a couple of things. First thing we want to do is set sprint, uh, uh, sorry, is sprinting to false we then want to um, set our max walk speed so get our character movement again set max walk speed to um, 300 our walk our walking speed uh, and then we want to start regaining stamina immediately because otherwise it won't run and we'll just sit at zero completely i want to add one more condition into here um and to do that i'm going to just use an and boolean um, um actually no i don't because i want to use the true for it i think so we're going to check the first thing we're going to do is check that crouching isn't activated um and if that's set to false we'll run on to the second check which is do we have is is our current stamina above is it greater than 10. uh otherwise people could just spam the sprint button I'm going to actually, because it's, I'm going to make it 10%. It has to be above 20. And if that's true, then we can start sprinting. Now that's all great. This will work behind the scenes, but we won't have any um, ability to check this because we haven't got a stamina bar. So I'm just going to comment this off as um, sprint so that's all of our sprinting mechanics right there and that will completely work independently from everything else go into our uh, third person map go into content go to third person go to our blueprints go to our player HUD and we want to add in uh, another progress bar now drag that in like so Put it along, make it the same sort of dimensions, I guess, as the other one. Uh, keep it. I'd, I like to try and keep it as neat as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. But there we go. Bring it down so it's a little bit closer. Um, we'll make this one green. Uh, again, as I always like to do, just make sure the percentage thing. Yeah, that looks perfectly fine to me. And then we want to bind this to uh, a new binding like that now in our original one we're going to basically copy this exact same functionality just into this new one with our new variables um, let's oh, pull off and get our max stamina and our current stamina now I got this wrong in the last episode in in the health episode she's saying it wasn't the last one and so let's just double check it does is current into Mac uh, is divided by max um, and we can hook that up let's get a divide put our current in the top and our max in the bottom 
don't do what I said in the first episode and mix that up. <laughs> and it should now, in, in theory, work. Oh, uh, one thing I might want to do, actually, is if I go back to my... Grrr, not my graph, my... Where is it? Uh, my designer should save There we go. Uh, I want to anchor that to the bottom left. Because... Oh, I didn't click on it properly. Why is that? Oh, it is anchored. There you go. Compile. And if we press play... We now have a stamina bar. If we walk, it doesn't lose any stamina. If we run, it starts to lose stamina. And if we let go, it starts to regain stamina. So we now have a functioning stamina bar. I think 200 was probably a little bit high. I might change that to 100. Um, but yeah, it should eventually as well stop at 20. And then uh, it should stop at zero and then not let us sprint again until we get over 20. That should all work perfectly fine. So hopefully this was useful to you all. Um, that is covered stamina um, you can add it to your jump down the line as well uh, if you want to all you need to do is add in a function that takes away a certain amount of stamina every time you click jump um, I might cover that in the next episode but thank you so much guys for watching if you've enjoyed this please hit the subscribe button and consider liking and if there are any tutorials that you wish uh, for me to cover in the future please uh, leave a little comment uh, asking me to do it and i'll i'll plan it in thank you so much guys for watching uh i hope you have a good day and i'll see you soon bye